Good evening, everyone. My name is Allison Vino. I'm an a self-taught abstract artist. Uh, all the art you will see in the slides, that is uh, something that I've created. And I would first like to thank Jerry. Uh, she's been an amazing coordinator for us. ArtsLink New Brunswick, ACOA, the government of New Brunswick, thank you so much for offering such a profound opportunity for us. To my husband, Ryan, the guy right there, uh, we have really, uh, sorry, uh, my mom Mimi for her endless support over the last eight weeks by stepping up to help us with our two children, to help me actually with our two incredible children, Victoria and Alexander, while I was here at class. Um, my art is a lot like me. It's complex, multi-layered, optimistic, colorful, happy, full of energy with a strong voice. As a mixed media artist, my art style has allowed me to authentically express myself and continues to evolve. While my art is fluid in its presentation, I use various mediums to achieve what I create. I consider myself a bit of a potion creator. I love to just mix it up and see what happens and, what they, and how they react to one another. My artist's journey began very slowly eight years ago while taking an interior design course uh, during my first pregnancy. Uh, during that time, I felt unsettled in my life, like there was something more significant that I had yet to bring out. Uh, I wanted to be a part um, of the last step that brought a room together, which for me was through the art. I found myself going to the art store a lot, thank you Endeavors, <laughs> for buying various supplies and mediums for further hands-on experimentation. I needed to create to get my emotions out in a way in which words could not. There were other things going on in my life, but as the years continued, I found myself uh, taking courses by international artists in the small windows of time that I had as a mom raising two children. I had to seek my own answers because nobody locally was creating the way in which I am. I spent countless hours and a lot of money experimenting, learning with each step. Then I started succeeding at finding my style. I am passionate about people, nature, and sites in our beautiful province, New Brunswick. I began selling my art inspired by my community, but I did at that point lack a community of peers. In January 2017, so basically two years ago, my artwork was shown at the Penny Gallery at the Charlotte Street Art Center, and that led to the opportunity for me to establish myself with connections within a group of emerging artists with common goals. One of the events the group, uh, of this group of artists had hosted was called Art is Artist, which was the most challenging show for me to date. Artists were required to create in a different medium, meaning we had to use something totally different than what we typically create with. We did that to prove that no matter what challenge we had was thrown our way as artists, we would be able to say, yes, I'm an artist. The inspiration for the collection uh, came for me for the time spent that I uh, with family in St. Andrews by the sea where parents are feel a little more relaxed the sun's warmth kissing our faces breathing that smell that salty air think of the sun kissing the top of the ocean as you're immersed in the water and that golden hue treasure hunting with the children and looking for sea glass takes you to a relaxed place doesn't it I chose to create using alcohol inks on yellow paper, and then I mounted it on a wood panel. Um, and then I applied a clear coat of resin over top for a glass effect. That being said, there are a lot of skill sets to doing each one of those steps and drawing times that are required for each, uh, sorry, in order to create each piece. The collection was stunning and sold out except for one piece that I own. <laughs> Uh, I also showed, uh, it also showed me just how tremendously impactful art can be uh, to help someone through a chapter in their life. Uh, words used to describe my art from a collector were, I have been looking for months, months for a way to find a way to close a chapter in my life in a positive way, and, sorry, and I found it through your art. Why did I choose resin for that? Um, sorry, that art show, I chose it because I love a challenge and the harder it is for some reason, the more I need to seek out answers and make it happen. From alone creating in my art studio in 2017 to now 2019, where local businesses such as AudioCorp are commissioning me 
they are inviting me into their space and to create and trusting me by giving me full creative control to what I create and I am able to deliver. When I delivered the pieces, as you will see from the slides, uh, there they are, that's Jennifer, Trevor and Jennifer, the owners, uh, they announced that they will be expanding their practice to Oromocto. So once the renovations are complete, they would like to invite me to come and create more art for their space. I am so thankful for their support. <sighs> so, so, so thankful. Uh, and also for the entire staff's reaction to the art when I brought it in. It was a little overwhelming to see their faces because they had never seen uh, resin before. Uh, please commission me as well for art. <laughs> um, Catapult has been so incredibly educational. It, I, like I, it's overwhelming how much information came to us in such a short time span. Um, I was able to learn so many things that I will be implementing to my practice and my business, allowing me to really focus on what's important, which is to share my art inspired by our beautiful New Brunswick to the world. This is only the beginning, but I'm ready and excited and driven for 2020. Uh, in the short term, I look forward to finishing my studio repairs in my home studio, uh, investing in a camera and marketing so that I can continue to grow my community. I hope you follow me through my journey uh, on both Instagram and Facebook. And um, it's Allison Vino Art Studio. There's a lot of ways of spelling Vino, by the way, but that's how uh, that's how I spell mine because of because of that wonderful man right there. <laughs> Thank you, honey. I love I love making him turn red. <laughs> so good. Uh, clearly, I'm the extrovert, and he's the introvert of this relationship, right, Ryan? Um, whether you purchase a piece from me, simply reshare my pieces to your audience, talk to others about our art shows, I thank you and I appreciate the support. I would also love to collaborate, uh, if you guys have any opportunities on projects, see my art on a tissue box. Yes, guys, I'm still talking about the tissue box. I really want to have my art on a tissue box for some reason. I have it in my head. Uh, used for advertising on clothing, do more podcasts. I've done podcasts. I love to talk art. Uh, do a mural in order to have community that is engaged and connected. That's the gift that the arts can do. Thank you again for this amazing opportunity. I can't wait to see what's next. That's it. That's it.